In today's video, I'm going to document my repair on this Silvertone 1431. My client's father bought it when he was in the Navy in 1960, and it has been in the family ever since. So we have a 6AU6 preamp tube, a 6V6 output tube, and a 6X5 rectifier. So the customer complaint is that there's some weird crackle going on. Um, the power cord is also two-prong. I will be evaluating the originality of the amp. First, I want to diagnose the problem, which is basically some weird crackling going on. So even before putting signal through it, we can hear how sensitive and crackly the amp is. So before I do anything else, I'm going to give the amp a service, and that will probably fix a lot of the noise issues that we're hearing. So we can see how small this chassis really is. Just from peeking inside, it looks pretty dang original to me. And now I'm going to go ahead and tighten all the sockets as well, including the preamp socket. This amp is indeed all original. You can tell it's a really simple circuit. It's pretty dang clean in there. And now I'm just gonna clean the pots and then we will reevaluate. We can hear that the controls are quiet now, however, there's still a ton of crackle coming from the preamp tube. So I substituted another 12AU6, and it's still as sensitive as the other one. So that leads me to believe there's either some sort of soldering issue or an ongoing issue with the preamp tube socket. The soldering looks okay, but I'm still gonna go ahead and re-solder the socket. So I'm poking around in here and I see this connection right here has like zero solder to be found. So it might have come like that from the factory. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and solder that and see if that helps. So despite this obvious soldering problem on the power tube, the amp still crackles really bad around the preamp tube. And I found that pin six of this tube socket is actually bad in general. When I wiggle the wire like this, you can see that it open and closes just like that. So it's making connection, no connection, essentially. So in order to fix that reliably, I'm going to have to replace the entire preamp tube socket. So as you can see, the 6AU6 socket is riveted in, so I'm going to have to drill out those rivets. And then to mount the new socket, I'll just use screw and nuts. I'm going to unsolder everything, and then I'll install the new socket and wire it all up. Look who's here to check on me. Okay. 
So here's the new seven pin socket installed. And I'm going to wire it up. All right, here she is all wired up. I'm going to replace this two prong cord with a three prong. Three prong cord has been installed and the death cap has been removed. And my final step of this repair, I'm going to replace this filter cap, which is two sections of 10 microfarad at 450. And then this um, power tube cathode cap, which is 10 at 25. And then once I'm done doing that, I'm just going to check the bias, make sure everything's good, and then we'll fire her up for a final test. Okay, so I replaced the two filter caps. They are glued down with silicone. And then the power tube cathode bypass cap. All right, so I tested the bias. That's pretty much right in the sweet spot, so I'm just gonna leave the cathode resistor as is. So this amp is really clean, it's got a ton of headroom.